It's Mad, Mad Men Sports. Sports. Welcome to the madness. Back What's again. What's going on, Zachary? Not much, not much. Living life, loving life. I'm loving life. Yes. I'm tired, though. Every day's tiring. Listen, I, I don't know if this, this is a struggle every day. I don't mean to get off the horn here, but... Damn, it's great. <laughs> but every day's a struggle. <laughs> it is taking so long. <laughs> it is so hard to smile. No, no seriously, it, I'm just... I think it's like starting at daylight savings time. Days are shorter. It's all right, man. Pacing, patience is shorter. But you're good, though, still, yeah? I mean, personally, I love life, but I'm just tired. <laughs> we can't wait to be tired and be okay. Bills. Bills, Colts. About to stack wins, hopefully. Drop your score prediction. I feel like we're echoing today. Drop drop your score prediction below. Maybe it's the headphones that I'm wearing. Maybe. These are Dave's. Um, drop your score prediction below. We will give you the ball. Just get it right. One time. Those jerseys have to be delivered soon, too. Mm-hmm. I haven't gotten confirmation yet, but they have to be delivered. Did soon. they get lost in the mail? Listen, I saw someone talk about it. I don't remember who entirely. But they were talking about how, like, UPA, USPS has had historic slowdowns because of the holidays over the last month. Like, before Halloween, they were having slowdowns, which it took them forever. To, remember, it took them forever to get them to me? Mm-hmm. It's taking even longer for those jerseys to get out. I mean, it's been three, four weeks now. Damn. Should have got slapped a couple more stamps on that. I should have did DHL. <laughs> that would have taken six months. Those never miss. I should have just did pony. I should have just drive. Who drove them? Who would have hated that? Who would have hated two madmen popping up at their doorstep in South Carolina? We're not doxing people. No, just a state. It's a state. Hey, listen, if you can find someone in the state, go nuts. Please don't even try. I'm exhausted. <laughs> so, we're trying to stack wins. Listen, you got one. You got two. You want out three. Yeah. You you want to beat the Colts. I'm trying to think. Like, the Colts and Bills always play each other tough. But I don't think the Colts ever beat the Bills. I can't think of the last time. Like, the last time was Andrew Luck. The... Uh, Josh Allen's rookie year, so 2018, mm-hmm. Andrew Luck just ran over the Bills. That was the last time the Colts had definitely beaten the Bills because we got them in 2017. Snow game. Snow game, Frank Gore, LaShawn McCoy, Jack Doyle, Kelvin Benjamin. That's that's the game right there. That was a fun game. I don't think we're seeing snow this weekend. I hope not. It's like 47 and 51% chance of rain. Every home game rains, I swear to goodness. Yeah. Not making them enjoyable. No, but I like being there still. Yeah. Sleepy. Excuse me. I'm really sorry. It's been a long week. We are going to be on a podcast tomorrow. We are. Let's plug this. Come by tomorrow to... Give me one second to pull this up. This is very off script. I was trying to stay on script. This is off script. We didn't plan for this. Well, we, we were planning for it tomorrow. So Thursday evening... 9 p.m. Eastern. Is this a live stream type thing? I'm under the impression it may be live. Uh, Colts podcast channel. All right, cool. Yeah, it's the No Horsing podcast. It's the Colts podcast. They reached out to us, asked if we'd come on the show, chop it up with them, give them some Bill's knowledge. Drop in the comments what weird fact I should tell this podcast about the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> That's a perfect thing to add in there. Drop the comments. What weird Bills fact should I put in there? It's got to be relative, relevant. No, it doesn't have to. And it has to be pertinent to this year. Don't be like, well, Frank Reich once tied his shoes together. In 1969. Nice, but also, come on. He wasn't alive then. Frank Gore. Frank Reich. <laughs> yeah, he was. I was watching Good Morning Football today. Mm-hmm. No. It wasn't Good Morning Football. Scratch that. It was One Bills Live. They had the Sean McDermott po- press conference going on today. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, Frank Reich has always had good quarterbacks in Indianapolis. And I thought, well, okay, he's had decent quarterbacks. And he goes, yeah, you know, he had Luck. He had Rivers. And he had, uh, who's got now? Carson Wentz. Mm-hmm. And I thought to myself, I slowed down myself down. I was like, I don't think he had Luck. I think Maybe he missed Luck. Maybe his tail end. I know because it was that one week. I mean, at the worst, he had preseason luck, but that was still a long time ago. Any luck's better than no luck. He has no luck this weekend. I'll tell him that much. 
Damn. Yeah, no comebacks this week, Frank Gore. No. Or Frank Wright, excuse me. You did that to me. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, we have the Colts coming in here, 5-5. Five and five. They've turned it around. They yeah. started off 1-4 and four or something like that. Mm-hmm. Their defense is lively. They actually have hard knocks, mid-season hard knocks this year. Really? Uh, debuted Wednesday night on HBO Max. Hopefully, much like the Manning curse, there's an HBO Hard Knocks mid-season curse. Which all Peyton could, Manning all I could ask apologized for. for that. He can apologize all he wants. That doesn't change the fact that we lost to the Jags in ridiculous, 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 ridiculous. Re- I'm over it. But most You're ridiculous fashion I've ever seen of an yeah. NFL game. We're on to the cool. Which is an AFC South team who struggled against the Jags last week. Got up 17 nothing, and the Jags did not go to bed. No. That's a good Jags team. That's a fighting Jags team. Not a good Jags team. No. There's a lot to talk about with these Colts. Carson Wentz, not what he used to be. No. He's more of a game manager nowadays. He had 188 yards last week. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Can you hear that? Because I can't hear I can shit hear in these <laughs> headphones. These are bad. Maybe that's, wrong. Maybe that's what's going on with Dave today. It's right here. Uh, maybe we maybe we need to get Dave better headphones. And he'll come maybe back. Maybe that's always why he's like doing ASMR. <laughs> he's not coming back because he doesn't have good headphones. No, he's not coming back right now just because he needs a sabbatical. And we respect that. And we respect that. We respect that. <sighs> Let us know how much you missed Diamond Day. Do we expect Matt Burita to be healthy uh and starting this week? Starting, no. Or no, but I mean Playing. active. Active. I think so. I, I think outside of that fumble at the end of the game last week, he played quite well. Touchdown receiving, touchdown rush. He was a threat, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. A threat that I don't think Devin Singletary provides at the moment. No. Devin Singletary is the leading rusher on the team, but I think that Burita... Burita? Something. Not Burrito. I wish. Someone called him Burrito last week on the, po- on the, not on the podcast, on the broadcast, and... That was not correct. I can definitely say out of the two variations, that's not one of the two. Star Latula Lele. Why do you keep saying it like that? I even slowed it down. I was like, maybe if I say it fast, it sounds like that. It was Star Latula Lele. They say it every broadcast. It doesn't matter who's doing it. Is it me? Am I the crazy one? If I'm wrong, I don't want to be right. Star Latula Lele. That sounds good. They were like Star Latula Lele. Yeah. And I was like, did he stutter? Um, so yeah, we got a little bit of that. Uh, I'll, we'll drop the we'll drop the info for the podcast we're gonna be on tomorrow night, right? Yeah. Um, number one defense in the league of the Buffalo Bills. Uh, number two in takeaways is the Colts. We gotta keep an eye on that. A lot of turnovers between two teams this year. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I was unaware. Bills of have twenty one. Colts have eighteen. They are one and two. Takeaway machines almost. Would we say machines? At what point do you become a takeaway machine? When you're getting multiple a game consistently. I, I'd like to think so, yeah. We're close. The Bills are at that point. They also have had bad quarterbacks, but they're going to play another round of bad quarterbacks. Carson Wentz has thrown away two games for the Colts. Mm. So while they're 5-5, five and five, they could just as easily be 7-3. and three. They haven't had their bye week yet. I think that's an interesting note. Jonathan Taylor is a machine. You want to talk about machines? That guy's a yardage machine. Seven straight games with over 100 yards and a touchdown. He is a machine. And for fantasy purposes, hope it doesn't stop this week. He's probably going to stop this week, though. That's a good defense. Great. Star Latulalele will not be playing this week. No. Uh, Cole Beasley did not practice with a rib injury. <laughs> And Matt Milano. Matt Milano has a shoulder injury that kept him limited today. Someone else. Two other people. I can't remember. Edmonds? Yes. Edmonds was out today. Out, out or limited? Out. Yeah, he's just resting. And someone I, had an illness. I wonder who. Hmm. I missed that. I didn't miss that. I mean, illness, probably uncovid related, I assume. Yeah. Definitely. So it's probably not a big deal. Um, Probably had whatever the sinus thing's going on that make me tired. Jerseys, blue. Apparently, they're eleven and one wearing these jersey blue combination. Blue, blue, blue on blue. I think so. <sighs> Icy. They're very good. That is second to only white on white. Mm-hmm. The white on white on white on white is nice. Very nice. The blue on blue. <sighs> Icy. 
We have a t- quick turnaround. We have a show Sunday. We do a double deck on it on Sunday. Yeah. Coffee. I'll make a coffee. Sunday night's going to be an hour long. Can you do that nowadays? I know we had to do a 20 limit. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. We got an hour long show on Sunday night after a Colts beatdown, right? One would hope. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, hopefully we're giving away the ball on after Sunday. We can get the score predictions correct. The spread is seven and a half for the Bills. Do you think the Bills cover? Yeah. It's a tough Colts team. They have a good defense. But when we beat teams, we beat teams. That's true. When they lose to teams, though. They, they do beat barely. Losing. They barely lose to teams. That's the problem. Yeah. Their, their uh, point differential is number one in the league by a mile. F- franchise record currently. Really? On pace for, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I like that. Without a doubt. Excuse Player me. to watch for the Bills. Who needs to have a comeback? Who needs oh. to have a good game? Who do you think? Uh, I, I think we need to continue to see uh, Spencer Brown. Spencer Brown? Is that He's a, having good weeks. I, I fucked you up last week with that Spencer Long thing. You did. Uh, he's I haven't been the right since. ranked fourth in rookie offensive lineman, which playing, what, three or four games? Not shabby. He's been adequate. I'll say that much. Um, I think I need to see a big game out of Dion. Yes. It's almost game. consistently that I'm seeing him make a missed tackle or miss miss block. Yeah. That what turns into a tackle or a sack. I, I need consistency out of Dion big time. Yeah. I need Josh Allen to stay upright. What do you mean Not by that? Be sacked? Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. He's got I, he's got a hard week coming up. Is that what you wanted? I just hope the defense comes out or the offense comes out fiery and doesn't show up limp. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm asking about. Yeah, why would we want a limp offense? I listen, because they had one against Jacksonville. They didn't against Houston. They didn't against Tennessee. Show that that AFC South can't handle the Bills. Mm, respect. I mean, the Jacksonville Jaguars, what are we doing here? Are you moving your feet? You all right? I keep hearing things. I mean, these these headphones suck. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, I mean, we got to help the guy out. One time. I guess so. I'm hearing things. I'm hearing random. Sam random. Dar- Sam Darnold looking. Random. Random. <laughs> Um, no, above all else, I think the Colts are a very formidable team. This is probably going to be the most intriguing matchup stretch the Bills have here. They have the Titans. They had the Miami Dolphins, which should have been an easy stretch there after the Titans. Dolphins, Jags, Jets. They went 2-1 and one there. Shouldn't have. That should have been a 3-0. and oh. Can they go 3-0 and oh against the Colts? The Saints and the Patriots. What well, I would think so. I would hope so. Got to hope so. Not a guarantee. Can't even beat the Jags. Currently the number two seed, so we're not. Keep it we're going. Doing all right. You'll, you'll catch Tennessee eventually, I'd say. Yeah, they're primed and ripe for a fall off. Yeah, they're not correct. Their analytics don't really back up what they're currently putting out in terms of production. No. Three playoff games at home would be amazing. <sighs> two with a buy. Yeah, but if. The Titans got the first seed, and we got the second. We would get three because they're not winning two games. I don't know if I could afford three home playoff games. Probably, what, 150 game? Brother, that's okay. We're cashing out our YouTube money. <laughs> we already did that. No, we didn't. Did you, did you cash out the YouTube money? Yeah, remember I needed soup for my family. <laughs> by, by far, that was the funniest thing of all time. <laughs> it's soup, soup for my family. <laughs> No, um, listen, I, I think the Colts have a very, very interesting offense. Jonathan Taylor gets going. He gets going. There's no off switch on that guy. Michael Pittman's been coming to age. He's a USC graduate. Uh, big frames, like 6'4". He's going to be a tough matchup for Trey White. It's a go-to on third down. Without a doubt. I mean, he, he's definitely definitely a go-to there. And, you know, in the, in the defense side of the ball, Quiddy Pay has had a great rookie season for the Colts. He has stood out, and as the defensive line has definitely improved there. Their pass rush is legitimate. Got to hold up. This is a big test for Spencer Brown being the big straw that stirs the drink there. 
Hopefully it does. And I don't think it's just Spencer Brown being on the line. I think it's Spencer Brown being on the right tackle spot and Daryl Williams being in the right guard spot. I think that everyone's like, oh, look how good Spencer Brown is. But it's the combination on the right side that really makes the difference. Yeah, I, I'm glad that we moved Daryl Williams to guard. I wish we paid him differently before we did that. I wish we paid all of them differently. Yeah, if I'd go back, Feliciano, checkers. Like the Darryl, yeah, exactly. Working at checkers, Daryl Williams, right guard with right guard money, Cody Ford, community, also college. checkers. <laughs> no, you got graduated in Oklahoma. Is good money. Did he graduate? He owns a checkers. I would want them both to own checkers. Oh, you were owning, yeah. Okay. Jesus, they got the review. These are millionaires, they're working at checkers. Maybe, maybe they're one of those owners. They're like, We're in this together, I'm in the trenches with you guys. We're gonna get through this 2 a.m. rush. Off of Elmwood. Uh, the new Spider-Man movie just let out. We got to get these orders out. I want a milkshake now. Am I in a diabetic coma? <laughs> this is a fever dream. <sighs> the Bills going to the playoffs would be a fever dream, wouldn't it? What's your take on the game? What's your big big move? I, I think the big player that the Bills really need is either A.J. Klein or Tremaine Edmonds to step up. Because I think the, I think with no Starla Tula Lele, I'm just well, fucking up on purpose lay, lay. now. But uh, without Starla Tule, I, I think you need to get Jonathan Taylor stopped in his tracks, and we know how good Quentin Nelson is. Definitely. You talked about, you sent something to me on Twitter about Boogie Basham. You want yeah, to you want me to talk on that? Yeah. All right, I didn't ask you, you just a question said, or anything. But I don't you, don't, you don't think. I already said something. Else. I don't think I said anything. I said, wow, you wouldn't think. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was uh, AJ Epinesa playing eight games, Boogie Basham playing three games. Now, you'd think the stats would be heavily favored for the guy that's played eight games, right? Wrong. Uh, Boogie Basham, one and a half sacks. AJ Epinesa, half sack. I think we can just stop that right there. I've been a very big proponent of, okay, they're getting pressure, but they haven't gotten pass rush sacks. And I think that you can't really slow down where the production is there. I would see Boogie Basham start this week, or active, excuse me. When I say active, I mean start. Start means active because there's a rotation there. Same thing with running back. There's a rotation at running back. So when I say active, I mean start, play. Mm -hmm. To answer your former question, though, um, Stephon Diggs needs to be fed the ball. We've been talking about it. We saw it a little bit last week. What? What are you looking at me for that for? Can't eat food. What? He's got to be fed the ball. Why can't he eat food? Because he's he's, he's grinding. I'm just messing with you. He's grinding. I'm just messing with you. We need to throw the ball to him more. Hump day. We we saw what happened last week. Exactly. You get the guy a ball. Good things happen. Yeah. He's probably the best player on the team. Next to Trey White. Josh Allen's good. But, like, Stephon Diggs and Trey White are, like, top three at their position. One would argue that Josh Allen is top three at his position. Top three quarterbacks go. This guy doesn't know any quarterbacks, of course. I don't. I only watch the Bills. If for people who wonder at home, I don't Stop. watch any other football other than Dude, the Bills. You're just I really marker. don't. Uh, top three quarterbacks right now in the league. Tom Brady's been stellar this year. Last week sucked. The so week before that hasn't wasn't perfect either as a fantasy owner. And, you know, Patrick Mahomes. You could mix in maybe Lamar at three, maybe Justin Herbert at three some weeks, Josh Allen at three some weeks. I think it's a very big toss-up. He's definitely top five. Without a Ooh, doubt. Tired. Without a doubt. No, we're going to wrap this up because we are tired, and, you know, we have a big show tomorrow that I hope you guys tune in for, show us a little support. I'll put something on the community page, whether it'll be like a live stream. On or Facebook? Or, or, no, 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 on YouTube. Yeah, well, no, we'll 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 definitely do our best. Jake's we'll, we'll good talk, on that stuff. We'll talk, we'll talk some stuff. Wow. We'll talk shop. We'll talk shop. Um, above all else, my score prediction is fifty to zero. No, they don't deserve that anymore. I told you that. No, they're back. What's yours, Jake? Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I told you fifty to zero. No way. This is a good Colts team. Can you give a little respect? Thirty-seven ten. I was thinking 38. How would you know? Say 38, then. 38. I don't think Carson Wentz does it against the defensive backs. I think that's really the difference maker in this game is Carson Wentz versus the Mm D-backs and not the Arizona Diamondbacks. Damn. I think it's Carson Wentz getting picked off twice. Defense scores a touchdown. Jordan Poyer, I'll call it. 
Um, 38-14. Jonathan Taylor, two touchdowns. Damn. Good you got to be careful, though, because the Colts had a punt return, punt block for a touchdown last week. Can't have that. Matt, Matt Hawk can't yeah. be a hack. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Take care, guys. Hopefully you see us tomorrow night or tonight in your world. Uh, take care. Enjoy. Go Bills. Go Bills.